Hello to everyone. I am coming to you today to go over some important information as we prepare to come back to church uh, this Sunday. And I'm very thankful that we are able to finally come back together. And I know that we have certainly missed getting to assemble ourselves together in God's house. But uh, now we are ready to, to come back to church this Sunday. And before I get into talking about some of the specific details, I wanted to share with you again the scriptures that I shared with you last time um, that I announced that we were going to be coming back to church. Um, I read these um, on my last podcast about our September the 27th um, church service starting back. And that, that scripture, the first scripture is found in Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 and 4. And the scripture says, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself, let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. Then also over in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 10 says, Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love in honor, giving preference to one another. Those scriptures are so significant and are so important and that we as Christians, as God's people, that we always try to look out not only for the interest of ourselves, but also for the interest of others. And that we are always uh, trying to uh, have preference for, for one another, that we are concerned for one another, and that we want to come back to church and we want to be sure that as we come back that we, that we do things to take care of ourselves, but also to be sure that we're taking care of each other. And that the things we do are not just for our own safety, but for the safety and well-being of others as well. So as we prepare to come back Sunday, I want to go over with you some of the guidelines that we uh, are going to have in place. And I first want to say that, that these are very simple, and there's just five things that I, I want us to focus on. And I think if we, we really practice these five things and discipline ourselves in these five areas uh, until this virus is gone, until there is a vaccine, I believe that we can come together and that we can have church successfully and that we can have church safely. Uh, first, the, the first thing, first guideline is that I'm asking everybody to please wear a face mask. I know that this has been something that has been optional uh, and, and we uh, just left it up to everybody to make that decision if you wanted to wear one or not. And we had encouraged people to do so, and we had face masks here available for those who needed one. But now I'm asking everybody to please wear a face mask as you come into church, while you're in church service, and as you're leaving church service. Um, I believe it's the, the one thing that we can do uh, to be sure that we're doing everything possible uh, to keep ourselves safe and, and those around us safe. So I, I want to ask you to please um, wear a mask. And, and I know that this has been somewhat controversial. Some people like wearing them and some people don't. And, and I don't know that any of us are just 100% comfortable wearing them. But um, we're being asked to wear them pretty much everywhere else we go. If you go to Walmart, if you go to Home Depot, Pretty much in any place of business that you go into, uh, it's required. And so I, I think it's something that we can do and that we should do, and uh, especially in light of everything that's happened, uh, I, think, I think it would only uh, stand a reason that we would, that we would uh, 
wear a face mask in our church services. Uh, the next thing that I would uh, ask us to do is to please practice social distancing. Um, I know that um, we're a close family church, and we love each other, and we love to fellowship, and um, and that's wonderful, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. We're a very close uh, group of people, and uh, we love each other, and I know it's hard not to want to, uh, you know, visit and and. And it's hard, you know, not to want to shake hands and, and you know, and hug necks. But uh, I believe it's really important that we that we practice uh, the social distancing and, and try to avoid uh, close contact with each other, if at all possible. And uh, the third thing is to please do not congregate in the foyer before service or after service. We want to be sure that as we come into service that we that we make our way on into the sanctuary and we find a place to sit. And um, the pews will be, um, again, we'll have the pews separated. Uh, there will be uh, pews that are, that are marked off uh, where we're asking people not to sit so we can keep safe distance while we're sitting in the pews. And also as we dismiss, I'm going to do our very best to try to dismiss us in an orderly fashion and and that is we're dismissing that we that we wouldn't stop in the foyer, but we would continue to go on out um, outside, um, you know, out of the foyer. Um, we've also asking everyone, uh, the fourth thing is to please, you know, practice good hygiene, you know, sanitize your hands, wash your hands. And we have installed some new touchless uh, hand sanitizer machines. And the one is at each door. They're on a stand. And one is at each door of the sanctuary as you come in to church. And we ask that you would sanitize your hands as you come in and as you're leaving, again, for your safety and for the safety of others. And the fifth thing I think is, is really important, uh, please do not come to church if you're sick. And uh, I, I think that's very important because we are getting into the time of year now where we are getting into flu season we're getting into cold season people are starting to have allergies and all of those symptoms flu symptoms cold symptoms and allergy symptoms are all very similar to COVID-19 symptoms so for your safety and for the safety of others if you have any cold-like flu-like allergy-like symptoms please please don't come to church uh, just to be safe. I think it just stands to reason that, that we just never know. I mean, we may think we're okay, we may feel okay, but we, we have those symptoms. I think it's critical that, that we refrain uh, from coming to church when we're sick with any of those, uh, those type of symptoms. Um, I, I want to also say that we're, we're going to have one service starting out. We're just going to meet here at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning from 11 to 12. We'll have our Sunday morning service. Um, we'll have music. We'll have singing. We'll have a, a, a message uh, that I'll preach, and uh, you'll be given the opportunity to give in your tithe and offerings as, as normal, and uh, we'll have a regular service. But we're just going to have the one service. And then on, on Wednesday nights, I will be doing the online service. I think this is important for us to start out slowly as we come back, just to see how things go, to see how we're adjusting to the way things are, and, and give everybody time to, to get comfortable with how things are. And, um, and I, just, I think just coming back with the one service, um, will give us some time uh, to see how things go and to uh, continue to move forward um, as time, per, you know, as things improve, as time permits us to do so and the situation permits us to do so, we certainly will, will consider that. So uh, one service. Now, on Wednesday nights, I want to, to share with you what I'm going to be doing on Wednesday nights. Uh, I'm going to start this Wednesday night. Um, being that we're not able to convene and have Sunday school classes, um, I want to I do the Sunday school lessons on Wednesday night 
And I know you don't have your Sunday school books yet, but we'll be giving those out this, this Sunday. We'll have those set out on the table for you to get your Sunday school books. Your commentaries are here as well. And so um, starting this Wednesday night, I'm going to be teaching Sunday school on Wednesday night. Now, I know that sounds a little odd, but, but I really feel it's important that we as a church can go through these lessons together and uh, share these lessons. These lessons are so good, and you know that as students and teachers of Sunday school, how, uh, how wonderful these lessons are and uh, how good they are to share and to go over. And I want to encourage that, and I want us to continue to stay in the Word. And so Wednesday nights, I'll be doing our Sunday school lesson um, on the live stream. That way, those who can tune in, uh, we'll be able to, to uh, you know, be a part of that live, and then we'll record it and keep it online for those who are not able to listen to it that night, can listen to it uh, throughout the rest of the week. And that way you'll have your Sunday school book, your material, and you can follow along with that lesson on Wednesday nights. So we are certainly looking forward to coming back together, and um, we, are, we are so thankful uh, that you have uh, been patient and you have been so supportive during this time. We thank you for your prayers and all the, the outreach that you have done to, to encourage one another and minister to one another. And we are certainly looking forward to coming back here Sunday at 11 o'clock. And uh, be in prayer for us that uh, God will continue to lead us and guide us through these times that we're in and that God will continue to bring healing and strength to all and uh, to keep us safe and keep us under the protection of His hand. And God bless you, and we look forward to seeing those of you who can come out this weekend. And again, for those of you who, who are not comfortable coming, those of you who uh, have underlying conditions and who would rather stay home during this time, we totally understand and respect that. And I uh, want you to know that no pressure on anyone to be here, but we are going to open the doors, and we hope you can be here, and we uh, certainly look forward to seeing all of you who can make it. So God bless each one of you.